Hello everybody, welcome to the grand final of Era BBL. Um, Spoke will be joining me at some point on comms. And as you can see, we have Antonis with the Blood Bowl Super League logo. <laughs> I didn't know this, but it's pretty funny. Um, just advertising my league there. <laughs> what a, it was pure coincidence. Honestly. Yeah, Dwarves versus Nurgle. So, I don't know if this is a rostered. No, it must be a rostered. 12 SPP, so we've got a rostered Death Roller. Oh my god. The Nurgle have got Bora. So, yeah, huge overdog, actually. The, uh, the Dwarves. They've got a Strength Up Slayer. Some guard, some mighty blown, some stand firm. Very not much though. Wow. One, two, three, four, five. S five guard. Five guard. Wow. That is not a lot of guard. <laughs> so yeah, the, the the dwarves could struggle here. <laughs> but, I mean, it's it's versus Nurgle anyway, but um. Yeah. Wow, this is this is a enormously guard lacking team. Two really good runners. That's not where you want your SPP to be, is it? You want all of this guy's skills to be four more guards and then the team's like a million times better. Um so yeah, Chaviti some somehow has the better team and a wizard and Borak. <laughs> I don't really know how that's happened. I guess the uh the roller helps. Um but wow, yeah, this is, uh, whew. I mean, congrats on Antonis making the final. Great stuff to get the final. But um, one, two, three, four, five, five guard on the Nurgle. Oh, they've only got three warriors. But they've got Borak. And they've got a Claw Pommer and a Ball Carrier. So they haven't got many, they haven't got very good Pestigors, to be fair. And they've only got one claw on the team, so you know he went mighty blow first on the uh, warriors to try and to try and get them skilled up in a 33 game season. So um, you know this is a this is a like this is the problem with Nurgle right getting them developed in such a short space of time. You need a you need a fair amount of luck. Hello, spelling mistakes. Um, there was somebody I remember who made a Nurgle team called the Most Fun and won 30 games, drew three, and lost none in CCL one time. Uh, <laughs> no, that's not true, is it? Maybe I'm just maybe I'm no, I'm lying there. I've definitely lost three. I must have won. I think I went 33-3. Yeah, maybe I went 33-3. But um, it's really hard to like make a good Nurgle team in 33 games. So getting one claw bomber is pretty good. To be Obviously, you're at the mercy of the dice if key players die. But yeah, I mean, phew, I don't know. Antonis is all is we're pretty much looking at needing a dicing right from the start. Honestly, like this is uh, this is a brutal matchup. Does he have? Doesn't have any dirty player apart from the roller, which he's saving for defense, which. Could be a mistake, right? If he if he takes three Kaz in this half, he doesn't even get to field the roller at all. Um, well, because he'll have to field it for like the last turn. So, whew. Whew. It was Dimmy, yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks for that, Dimmy. It was indeed the same guy who lost a space six times. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> Sadly, no Kalon here. He hasn't. He hasn't spoken Fuck to anybody. Off, Dimmy. Uh, Kalon hasn't spoken to anybody in like a few days, which is uh... yeah. It's weird, isn't it? It's weird, Kalon. Kalon not typing anything is like, you know, I mean, or speaking, obviously. <laughs> his typing is second only to his speaking. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> he must be getting like withdrawal symptoms, mustn't he? <laughs> 
I really hope he's okay. <laughs> he just doesn't like me. No, in the in the era in the era BB thing, he hasn't said much in terms of casting and stuff. So I don't know. He's just not up for it or something. Sad. Sad that we don't get the Tato, obviously. Tato is an absolute legend. Maybe Squiggy McSquig. So now he's thinking whether to uh, Frenzy Trap himself or stop the Frenzy Trap. Or just take this hit, but then hit how, to, how can he blitz? And the answer is he can't blitz. Um, so, yep. <laughs> and it's just it's just horrible. Like already, he just he just literally can't blitz on turn one. Like Nurgle having guard advantage. Right now, because one of the guarders is the uh, is the roller, so he's outguarded, outstrengthed, massively outstrengthed, actually. Right, because there's one strength four versus three strength four and two strength five. It's also a strength four blitz with claw palm. So, yep, yeah, had to expose this guy to mighty blow to uh, guard against that, which probably shouldn't have bothered to be honest. And I guess now he could try and blitz with the, this troll slayer. Oof. I put that in there and hit from here. But then he can't get him off anyway. It's it's such a difficult matchup for the dwarves. I would have taken well, I would have just tried to not skill up both runners, right? Try to get all of these touchdowns on this runner onto other players. <laughs> Guard on this guy, guard on this guy, guard on this guy. <laughs> guard on this guy. He just needed more guard. This is going to be... Uh, it's just going to be tough for him to get two Ds. That's the problem. Yeah, Chavita has won the first two seasons of Era BBL, and uh, with Wood Elves and Necromantic, I've been informed. And, yep, this is looking, this is looking like a a three peat. Exactly, Dimmy. Yeah, yeah. So it's like it sucks, right? Because you obviously want it on defense, but also. If you don't field it on offense, you run the risk of just not, not fielding it all. Even with three reserves, there is the chance that he just he only gets one turn out of it. Oh well, congrats, Squiggy McSquig. We might see something similar uh, in the in I'm the latest cycle. I'm strong as fuck. <laughs> Hello, Steve. We might see something similar in the in the latest cycle because. Uh, because Elliot, the great Elliot the Nom, is going uh, Wood Elves. So I wouldn't be surprised to see an incredible run from Elliot. <laughs> um, yeah, Lord Borak and a wizard, yeah. The best team, Lord Borak and a wizard. So. I mean, Borak plays into the better team, right? So it's not... If he didn't have Borak, he probably wouldn't have the better team, to be fair. So that's... that's a bit, oh, there we go. Instant gas. <laughs> God. <laughs> Instant Kaz. Instant bloody Kaz. Yeah, Elliot is... Is he, se is he only second? Oh, what a loser Elliot is. Oh, wow. Wow, I'm disappointed in Elliot. Uh, how do you how do you find the top? There we go. Oh, Ducky's number one. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Then I'll I'll let him off. <laughs> I 
You're doing it pretty high to see, to see how many games he's played. Record with the woodies. You're gonna see a foul here. I mean, it's maybe his only chance, right? Put in this guy, blitz here, chain him off, massive gang foul. You've got a rookie here to foul with. A GFI in foul. Oh, terrible! <laughs> <laughs> terrible, Steve. I haven't, uh, I haven't done well with. Uh, there you go, 68%. Awful. Absolutely awful. <laughs> Absolutely awful. Not even not even human with wood elves, there you go. Sub 70%. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Maybe I should make an alt just to play Wood Elves. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even qualify with the best Wood Elf team ever. Oh, they've got bribes. Uh, well, it's Antonis' stadium. I'm pretty sure the home team is always on the, on the side here. Um, and there is no, no thing. Oh, I didn't even think of there being uh, stadiums. Oh my god, so Elliot can have a wizard stadium. Oh no. Oh that's that's disgusting then, isn't it? Oh that's disgusting. Oh Elliot give give him the title. Give him the title if Elliot's got wood elves and then he can get a wizard stadium for the playoffs. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. Yeah, I mean, if you can, if you can. Elliot's definitely... Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. This is the guy I wanted to foul. I would have definitely GFI foul. He didn't even need a GFI foul, right? He could have fouled from here. This guy, should, I think he should have fouled because this claw on I mean, maybe he can, like, guard lock him. No, maybe I he can won't guard lock him, in. but at some point you've got to Until do it. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. So I think it's probably worth rolling the dice. It's probably worth rolling Life the dice. Life begins at 40, they save. Fucking glorious. Four. Aloha Frosty, thank you very much. Staying fantastic for 40 glorious months. 10 full Beaver pregnancies. And also, Return of JFW, I would have not followed there. Um, and as I say, I wouldn't moved him. And I would have got two more in here. And just gone massive gang foul. Because, like, it's not really a good move doing this massive gang foul here. Like, you know, it's costing you a lot positionally and everything. But on the other hand... If you don't deal with this guy, I just don't see how you win, basically. But and you, if you do deal with this guy, you look, it looks a lot closer, right? If he's got no claw. If he's got no claw. And if you get the Kaz, it's hard to Kaz, though, isn't it? Because you've got no DP and he's got regen. Um, but I just think it's just such, like... He can win, this guy can win the game on his own, right? That's how powerful he is. That's how powerful Claw Pom is. It's kind of a rubbish mechanic. So yeah, that's why he followed to get the 2D and the 2D. Oof. I mean, you have to reroll that. Do you? I would have rerolled it. Maybe didn't have to, but... It was probably close enough that... He might as well. <laughs> might as well. Oh, big, big one in nine. Wanted to move the beast into here, probably, right? That would have been a nice spot for the beast. Can the claw pump and blitz here? Maybe. Three assists. So maybe if he knocked him down, maybe he gets the beast in there and then he would have blitzed this guy. That would have been a pretty good play. Pretty 
pretty good. Got a foul in this turn, eh? <laughs> like, it's still not particularly good, even if you remove him. But I still think you've got to try. S second. Second action foul. You, you need the extra assist. <laughs> Hello, El Hyro. El Hyro? Maybe. I guess I guess move a guy across so you don't get sacked. <laughs> I think he almost has to try. Almost. going in. I mean, this makes sense, right? Take the space. Got the opportunity to push forward. What would purple chest do? The problem is... Is, you know, how do you cover this, uh, this claw pommel? And I guess now you can't really cover the claw pommel. <laughs> what, what would PC do? Well, he'd, he'd ask, he'd ask, <laughs> he'd ask Antonis a question, and then when Antonis tried to respond, he'd, he'd answer it himself for half an hour. <laughs> just, just a joke, PC. <laughs> Is that I'm sorry. <laughs> oh dear. But no, PC is of course a great dwarf coach, and uh, despite his despite his protests and claims that he's an elf coach, he is of course a great uh, a great dwarf coach and does like to get forward. You know, kind of as, as quickly and uh, as possible and stuff. There is the wizard as well to watch out for. Um, so it's interesting I wouldn't mind pushing up a little further than this like if you're going with pushing here I think you should probably push a little bit further but he's trying to push and control the claw pommel which is difficult, super difficult so I think if you, if you take this blitz you like push to here um or like you don't push and you get a big foul. PC had turned into a little dwarf, a little dwarf, yeah, yeah. I was shocked to see him like be normal height. I was fully expecting, you know, a four foot eleven <laughs> chap. <laughs> Yeah, like, this just isn't controlling it, right? That's the problem. Like, you either control it with, like, you know, say, two strength four guards or something. So, like, it's or maybe it's two strength four guards and somebody who can't get the assist cancelled. Something like that. You you need, like, a lot to control it. Like, it was controlled last turn. Um, once he couldn't get the beast in. But even, even then, if he got the beast in, he could have still got up and blitzed with it. So, like, you, it takes a lot to control it. Um, or you've got to try and foul it out. 
obviously this is not controlled. Doesn't kill yet. Glorious brainless pylon. Gets, <laughs> gets another gets another Kaz. Woo! Isn't Corpom fun? Yay! <laughs> And when I say brainless, I don't mean Chavite is brainless, it's the mechanic is brainless, right? Like the the pylon mechanic is brainless because you should basically, unless piling on costs you the match, <laughs> you should always pile on because Clawpom is pretty, pretty broken. Two guards in here to hit the armory. Right. Maybe, um... Anthony should have got in scoring range last turn. Just an idea, because this is looking pretty... He, he, I think he's, he should try and score next. Like, this is terrible, right? But he, he should try and score next turn, maybe. Put the ball up to here. Uh, blitz this guy off. This guy can come down, so he's got three players. This guy is four free. This guy can try and dodge with dodge. So he, he can kind of have a lot of... A lot of stuff free to kind of protect against the wizard and then score turn five like it's not good but it's better than not scoring at all <laughs> it's be it's better than not scoring at all and and live going one nil down which is which is very much on the cards right now very much on the cards yeah that's the big thing squeaky mcsqueak that's the big thing about blood ball too right is is the kill stack it, it is a shame that it's uh, so good and so brainless. And again, not insulting the people that use it. <laughs> and, you know, obviously some people can use it better than others and stuff. So it's, But, you know, it's just kind of... It's just kind of annoying, isn't it? That you can just... One player can just slaughter a team by himself. Like, six cars isn't unreasonable for one player. Which is crazy, isn't it? And he's already made he's already made two cars in three turns. <laughs> oh wow, so Spork is the power is out and he's out of action till four PM. Oh man! So there is, there will be, there will be sadly no spork bearer joining. Um, well, there you go. I wanted, I wanted to do it with. <laughs> oh god! I just realised what I was saying there. <laughs> I wanted to hopefully cast the final with you know some of the Irish lads. Um, but they were either unavailable or power out and stuff. Um, so, that is a shame, isn't it? Um, I'll just go back in my own Discord now and then if anybody, if any regular wants to join, they can, I guess. Um, this isn't too bad, eh? The stun here is good. The Arch 4 is dealt with. Beast's a bit of a problem getting the beast on the ball. Maybe this guy just dodges to here. The front's pretty much safe. Maybe just dodge the uh, dodge the Slayer on a seventy-five percent. And that's the thing. There is no pom. Like normally, you know, like if you've got a pom on your uh, on one of your Slayers, you can try and match them pom on AV8 versus claw pom. It's not that much worse, right? Pom and AV8 isn't actually that much worse than Claw Pom. Um, oh, so this was the wrong play, in my opinion. <laughs> I think this had to 
Oh, wow. So, yeah, this guy, that, that's a good dodge. <laughs> that is a very good dodge. Yeah, this guy had to dodge at that point. I think I would might have gone with a dodge-dodge. But I guess if you commit a reroll, then that dodge is better. But I would have also done that dodge before the hit. A slight... A slight ordering thing. Because this was a very dangerous blow. Again, no wizard. Obviously because of the match fall going down. So Antonis might somehow get another another turn of stall out of this. That dodge was lovely. These are all gonna be a bit tied up. So he, Borat can punch to here. He, oh no, he can't. He's done for. Ah, oh, interesting. Oh, and he's already punched. So I would have punched with Borak. and then he he pushes him out. And then one, two, three, four. It would have to be a GFI from the at least because of the stun film. I can still go around this way. Yeah, you can go around this way, right? If he pals him there, then one, two, three, four, GFI. So he can get the beast on the board. Still. With a pal, but without a pal, he can't. Four. Uh, he uphold one. So. And he's got a bench of three. So he'd have to take two more cars. I mean, he should be alright. Yeah, I was pushing the wrong square, in my opinion. Uh, I mean, you know, like, it's it's hard to say, right? Because he'd have to GFI to base the ball. This way he can safely move it there. So, it's only the wrong square if you want to GFI to base the ball. If you don't want to risk the GFI, then that's the right square. But I think it's probably worth making the GFI. Honestly. Oh well. <laughs> can't even... Uh, <laughs> can't even activate him. Also then, like, pushing him into here... When you activate the beast and you roll the one, then this guy could have come here or something, which might have been a bit better. Scoring is pretty tempting, yeah. He's in a pretty bad spot. Um, what he could do is he could start with this 1D here, then 2D here, then blitz with him, so he's got two people to screen. And the edge four is still down, so you can probably get another turn of stall now. You can probably get a, you can you can try for another turn of stall. I would probably try for another turn of stall here. Because three turns instead of four turns is a little bit of a difference, right? The fact that the edge four is down makes the wizard not as big a threat. You'd also be moving your people away from the claw bomber, which is pretty good. Oh yeah, I mean it's it's not it's not good for the dwarves. <laughs> Whatever happens is not good for the dwarves. Like Chavita doesn't really have to do much here. He just has to. Uh, well, we're definitely not scoring that blitz. He doesn't have to do much, like, he's obviously favoured with overtime because he's got a call upon him. <laughs> but, um, but obviously with roller on defence, 
maybe the dwarves can get the stock on defense. The roller is pretty great. Like this looks looks pretty unfair with these teams, but if you put in the roller, the dwarves do look a lot like the roller's a lot better than a lineman, isn't he? A skillless lineman. Which is what's getting played instead of him. There is a player dead though, isn't there? But one of the guards. One of the few guards. I did prefer my plan of uh, freeing the strength four and then blitzing him there and then just dodging him up on a three plus. But this obviously works pretty much the same way. You just block this guy free. And he comes back and then you one day this guy. Oh wow. Dicered. And that's pretty nice having him right next to this edge four. This guy surely has to just go here or here. Really good that the beast went stupid as well. That's another reason to try and get another turn of stall. So you can end up quite far away from the claw pommer. The edge four is down and you're miles away from the beast. So yeah, I think you've got to try for the extra turn of stall here. This sucks though using the using the reroll because obviously you want to... Uh, you want to try that 1D. And now it's kind of too costly if you score. But it also might be almost too costly if you don't block. Maybe it isn't. Maybe. You know. You'd have to think about that as to how good the block is there. Wow. Instant dodge. Did you realize that was a dodge? He had to pow, didn't he? He had to pow to hit the ball. You sh surely that you just didn't realise that was a dodge, right? Because there's like so many save moves he could have done first. Yeah, that that was that was obviously the problem, right? If if this is a pow. Then um, you can just hit the ball. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't have to be Borak, it, it would be better with this guy, right? This guy was better because you've got a you've got a team reroll. But um, it just like you just shouldn't have started with this dodge, right? You just shouldn't have started with this dodge. So I, I guess he just didn't see it was a dodge because you know activate the beast, stand people up, things like that could have been done. Hit this guy, who you've got the power to get somebody anyway, right? So activate him to make it a three D, things like that. be a touchdown now. <laughs> Might have to be a touchdown now. Like basically just a 1D to score. 2 plus. Honestly, it did quite well to get like 35 times out of 36. He's done quite well to not be turned over, I would think. 
Yeah, Surf and the Warrior, like, you've got to uphill him, right, versus blocks. So, like, it's just, it's a 30% fail. And, like, yeah, there's, there's a, there's a, there's a payoff to it, but that's way too likely to use your reroll. Um, what he could have done was blitz with this guy. That might have been an idea, right? Blitz with this guy and then move up here. So then this would have been a 1D. It's still very greedy. Nurgle warrior, Dimmy. We know what he meant, okay. <laughs> it's not a bloater yet. It's not a bloater yet. Yeah. I mean, that half went pretty much how you'd expect, right? It was... The dwarves were up against it. They got banged on a bit. Didn't get any damage. You, they might have expected to get some damage done, right? They've got some mighty blow. They've got quite a lot of mighty blow. They haven't got much guard, but they do have a lot of mighty blow. Three, four, five, six, seven mighty blow. So uh, they could have expected to randomly chip somebody a bit more on that drive. But yeah, they were always kind of, kind of like going to be under the cosh position in that. So quite good to get the score done. I need three turns for Chivita to win this in normal time. Goodbye, El Gero. <laughs> Chevrons. Could think about benching one of the runners, but then I guess the chance of losing both of them is uh, pretty small. He only needs one. I guess that's the good thing about having two runners <laughs> that are both like multi-skilled. There's not an obvious backup one. Like, well, I mean, there is. Because obviously, dodge is uh, is better, but. <laughs> The other one's kind of fine. It gives you a bit more movement. I maybe sort of exposed the non the non dodge one. And try and look like, oh, but then this one's got no. Oh, this one's got kick as well. Is this kick? Yeah. So he's put his kick in all. Oh, so I was actually really terrible. <laughs> no offense. <laughs> I'm not being hypercritical. I'm not causing offence, but if you take kick, and I've done the same with dwarves, I did the same in the Xbox playoffs. So there you go. Um, you got to put the kick there, right? Versus Nurgle, like having a corner kick on a three-turn drive would have been amazing. So yeah, really, and like obviously this is a. So he's a better player to to protect, and he's got kick. So yeah, this guy had to be there. Had to be there. And now he's going to get Mighty Blow tackled and not use his kick skill. So, yeah. That's, I guess I guess Mighty Blow tackling him is better than Claw Pumming somebody else. So there is that. But uh, I think just getting a deep kick would have really helped. Our old Big Chi Chi. And he do like you know I can see why he's done it right. He does have blodge holding the flanks, which which does mean getting tackle knighted instead of claw pond. So there is there is sound logic, but like I just think the kick. And I hate kick, right? I hate kick. I never take kick. But if you've got kick, <laughs> if you've taken kick, and you've got kick, 
and you're facing a three turn from Nurgle. I think there's definitely some use. You might just be lucky though. No. So right, right in front. Like this, the 3D from Borak. Of course, might have been better to do this hit first, so that you could get subsequent attacks. Yeah, it really could have done right. Like it really could have done if if you if you get like if you get the ball like in one of these nine squares, it just gets so much harder for the uh, Nurgle to score. So much harder. And like obviously you might get it in one of these squares anyway, right? Like. Uh, just by like randomly, but it's 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 like that's why I don't like kick because you often get good kicks just at random, right? But when you have the the when you've taken the skill and you have the chance to get some value out of it, it's a bit sad not to. <laughs> so there is the BB Super League. <laughs> oh dear. I wouldn't mind doing the Super League again. Thought about doing it in Blood Bowl 3, but maybe I could just not play. Like, I just didn't want to play. Oh wow, instantly run. Stand firm though. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> and then fails the pickup. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, now the dwarves could almost think about going 2 0 up. <laughs> Great result for the dwarves after all that. Can hit this guy. Hmm, I maybe it shouldn't have stood him up, right? Because you can block this guy and then could have maybe blitzed him. Could block this guy, block this guy. Can really, uh, wall off quite well, absolutely zero zero penetration from uh, Chavita, but yeah quite good having the stand firms on the insides and then the dodges on the outside so you know, he did get some value from having the dodges on the outside it's just who can say if that is better or not than having the kick maybe he just should have had kick on this guy instead of this guy I could even think about blitzing the claw pommer. Because that gets him an extra hit. Because if he blocks, you can't hit him again. Because, uh, like on a push, you can't hit him again. So, I'd think about just blitzing the claw pommer here. Though, I guess if he doesn't, he could blitz this guy. Which would be pretty nice, but then you're kind of exposing yourself to the uh, H4, which isn't good. Mm. Oh, I guess you could split with a strength four mighty blow as well, like frenzy. So with no follow there, one, two, three, four, five, he could have just blitzed him with the frenzy. Or he could blitz him with the frenzy. Okay, he gets the knockdown anyway. And having him back to the safety is pretty good. I just don't see who he's blitzing with here.
but really, really strong defence, isn't it? There's only a potato from this pestico really is the only danger. So maybe just keep maybe just don't blitz. Keep one of these two as a safety. And it looks to be 1-0 up at half time. You might as well, right, with two rerolls, you might as well go for something a bit speculative. Can block, block. Oh, don't see how he's scoring here. You've got to try and get through the middle somehow, right? See, this guy can potato. This guy can, can run all the way up to here. But it's not it's not good. <laughs> Pretty, pretty great half for Antonis, right? Like, two cars obviously isn't great, but one was stopped by the apple. Looks like he'll be 1 0 up. I guess this guy could like GFI down the side or something. Or he could lightning bolt the, the troll slayer. He could pick up hand off potato bolt. But then this guy can just two plus him. Yeah, get these in range. Just. So we can only blitz one. Which is going to be the edge fall. And then put whatever we can on this guy. Which can be this guy instantly, right? Three, four, five. So we can get him. He can try and dodge and go on him. He can try and dodge and go on him. Obviously, this guy just smashes him. So it should be. Should be alright.
Go for this hit if you wanted. Oh, tag the ball carrier. Oh, okay. So tag the ball carrier has been pretty nice, wouldn't it? Because he's got the two D here anyway. Without that. Hello, lot. Yeah. Oh, so actually, so this guy, where was he? Here. One, two, three, four. So he could have GFI'd and tagged him. Or just made this hit first. Yeah, yeah, he should have made that hit first. Oh my god, Kaz. Instant apple. He doesn't have an apple, he's Nurgle. Fills the region. Oh my god, what a hit. Dead, dead, dead. Oh my god. Oh my god. I mean it is yeah, like the teams are dead after this, right? There's there's no more there's no more team after this match, so yeah. Regen fail and well it's not game over, but it's uh it's really, 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 really bad for the Nurgle lad. Huge. Huge. Uh, he didn't get any penetration, Hancock. He uh he puts the stand firm in the middle and then got wrecked. Uh, the dodgers held the sides. So, well, don't be mean. Don't be mean, Hancock. But, uh, you know, maybe you should have re-rolled the uh, push. But, yeah, that, that blitz with the claw pump on the stand firm led to him getting punched and knocked down and then punched and cast. <laughs> so... It was certainly a costly, uh, a costly move. Imagine not penetrating with all your might. Yeah, yeah, because he got, he got, like, he got the, uh, he got the short kick as well, right? Well, not short, but like medium kick. Like it wasn't out of his way. It wasn't behind him, so it was a decent kick. So he should have, he should have produced some penetration. You would have thought. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit crap because he's got the blitz out. Uh, you really want to have, like, on the side there, right? So that somehow, like, so that these two together or something. Something so that, like, what, one here and two there? Something like that so that you can't just blitz and then get away. So is it, what, this is going to be a 4-3, unless he powers him. So 2-D. Might power him. Oh. He's killed Saw Crates. So there you go. The uh, stand firmer that was targeted by the Claw Palm ends up trading anyway. Oh, he can blitz this guy. Oh, I didn't even think of that. He, yeah, he doesn't need, he doesn't need the guard. He can just blitz that guy. Oh, my God. Well, I don't know why I was so stupid there. I was just thinking... Oh, his friend as well. Oh, my God. That would have been horrendous blitzing him. So, it makes the correct play. There you go. I don't know why I was miles away there. Um... <laughs> so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Does he have to double GFI here? Maybe. Does double GFI. Gets them. Four plus pass. Fails. Oh. There we go. Wow. So. 
As it is, the two cards for one cards isn't that bad. Like, it's obviously quite bad. He's taken three cards. <laughs> the deaths don't matter. And it's also two of his guarders, so it's pretty horrendous. But he is 1-0 up, and he's got the roller. So, you know, if he, if he can hang on, still got 11 players. If you can hang on and see this out, it, uh, you can get a 1-0 win here. But there is the wizard as well. Unbelievable. Pretty, pretty, pretty heroic performance, I would say, from Antonis against the odds so far. And uh, what do I think of Troll Slayers? Interesting, Lord. Interesting. Um, in Blood Bowl 2, I like to just give them POM. Because, you know, POM is overpowered and it's good to be POMing. <laughs> in Blood Bowl 3, I'd probably just use them as more of like, if I used one at all, it would probably just be more of like a decoy octopus kind of thing and just give them a card. Just, you know, use it to uh, sparingly control the blitz and use a bit of frenzy. Not not keen on them at all in Blood Bowl 3. But in Blood Bowl 2, just Pom. You need Pom. <laughs> you just need Pom. <laughs> Simple as. Pom or P. <laughs> it's a shame Kalon isn't here spelling mistakes because it has been super interesting. I mean, it's still hard to see past the Nova winning, but you never know. One nil up and a roller. There's a chance. A rock. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine if it just being KO'd after all that. You don't even get your roller. <laughs> at, at least you'll get it eventually. The Pommer is dead, Timmy. Wow. This isn't like quite as good, right? What what you want you want to you want to blitz the guy and you want to block the guy on the end first so that if you get multiple pushes you can keep pushing him. Uh, just taking forward like this is a bit suboptimal. Especially versus dwarves where you know you might have to hit them a lot and all have them block defensively. Rowdy basing from the beast. Well, if there was any doubt about this guy getting blitzed, it's gone now. <laughs> yeah, yeah Dimi, despite having two players dead, two of his best players dead, and the app all gone, it's actually going quite well for him. <laughs> <laughs> Two of his five guarders have been cast. But he's one nil up. And he's got a chance. Yeah, maybe, maybe he like lost a Pestigore, right? There's only three Pestigores. He's definitely lost a Warrior. But 33 games isn't that much to build an Urgle team. Oh my god, there's another one gone.
mean, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, it's going to be really hard. Like, I don't know how they stop this. I guess they just hope that Javide makes a mistake. And then gets to break tackle in with a roller. That's about the only way you're going to stop this touchdown. Or, like, you know, some other mistake. I mean, it's tough. Like the roller's pretty much like the only chance he has, right? So he's got to. Uh, he's got. To, sorry, I'm just. It's a bit. Uh, things are happening here. Sorry. Right. Okay. We're good. Um. Like the roller's his whole defense, isn't it? The roller is literally his whole defense. <laughs> and it's stum. So. That's pretty tricky. Yeah. You want to blitz with it because it, you can actually hit, get two dices with it, which isn't easy for this team to get two dice blocks. <laughs> so you probably want to be blitzing with it every single turn, but then you also want to uh, have it able to try and somehow, you know, break tackle, hit the ball at some point. So it's going to be a tough. I guess he's got the uh, he's got the troll slayer to try and hit things with. This, this is actually, this hit is pretty good for the Troll Slayer, isn't it? Coming in here. Um, uh, well, not anymore. Sick. I mean, you can still you can still troll slayer in. The problem is, if you troll slayer in there, then you're really weak over here. So, I'm gonna troll slayer there. Rely on the dauntless. Get it. Get the AV break. Oh man. I mean, I guess this is what he's got to do as well. To be fair, like he's he's behind. So he's he's taking a higher risk, high reward line, and that is unbelievable, isn't it? The uh, the KO and two stuns. Wow, wow! Oh wow, I'm getting straight in with a stand film. Oh man, Ooh, maybe I should have followed that. Maybe should have followed there. We could see a potato from the Nurgle here. Hand off potato seems pretty good. Because there was there was somebody who played blood ball and his coach name was Potato, <laughs> and he used to just run the ball down undefended every game. <laughs> I need to power here. Doesn't get it. Stand firm. Doing the business. Just got to dodge with a carrier, eh? Yeah? It's 
Gotta reroll. This block's almost worse in a way. Yeah, because now that guy's free, so. So now he blitzes the stand firm with a mighty blow guy. Didn't like that block, to tell you the truth. Good afternoon, Dirty Raxel. He's in a bit of a pickle, this chubby dude. Fails the dodge. Obviously, instant reroll. Because the two plus handoff gets him. Out. And KOs himself. Oh man. That is huge. Well, Antonis really needs a good turn now. He needs to play this turn perfectly and shut down this offensive drive as much as he can or get bodies back. He's not in scoring range. He's actually not in scoring range. So probably the first thing you do is bring this guy back to here. Because this guy is not in scoring range. And all of a sudden, Chavite is in a lot of trouble. These two stuns isolated. Nine players versus ten. Four. What a match. I don't know what the play is to like try and do something on defense here, but you can try to do something kind of. It's a huge swing, yeah. Absolutely huge swing. He could try and dodge hit the ball, couldn't he? He could try and. I mean, I don't think it's a good idea, but he could. He wants to get the roller up, so how does he do that? Does he blitz him up? Which frees up uh, an extra guy and stuff. It's it's super interesting. This guy could just go out in front and stuff. Blades come back, something like that. Rookie could go there and occupy these two. Stop to swap a reverse. Could go here and assist this hit. Could come back, could go around. There's like there's so, there's so many things you could do. But I like the first thing he did was this. Hmm. Not so excited about. It the rest of the turn. <laughs> Not getting anybody in front of this guy is pretty shit. I really wanted somebody here, like actually in front, right? I think this guy had to get in front. I 
and then I quite like this blitz so that he could go there and make a screen with that guy there he gets the dodge that's not achieving a whole lot <laughs> due to the whole quite like this blitz but I mean getting this guy on here does something doesn't it moved away from the Beast of Nurgle. Oof. Just to get a 2D. That... He's probably not going to take. Fend does something. Man, Chavita's in a lot of trouble now, isn't he? This is... This is almost enough to make you start cheering for the Nurgle. For the Nurgle. <laughs> and now they're looking, now they're looking the underdogs, aren't they? The big, bad, scary Clawpom team. a bit rubbish. I mean, to be fair, they have lost a lot of players. Two guards and the claw on. The dwarves have lost things, but a rookie dwarf is so good that it's not such a loss, and obviously they've got the roller on the pitch as well now, so I mean, whoa. Whoa! Rowdy! Whoa! Oh wow, now it just looks terrible for the Nurgle, doesn't it? I wonder if he could have got this guy into a scoring range last turn. Looks like he kind of needed it, doesn't it? Because if the Dwarves just kind of play this safe, he's going to need to use the Wizard to punch through. Are we seeing a surf? No, probably not. Oh no, probably yeah, we still can. He's, can. He can just block him. Oh, so the surf might uh... <laughs> the surf might cost him here. Eh? Interesting. Surf it for the memes. Yeah, it's interesting. I right? like it. This is this is borderline. I would say. Okay, well, he's saved. He's saved by rolling the power. It's pretty borderline that, because obviously getting rid of a Nurgle Warrior is amazing, but it's quite a lot of positional cost, isn't it? It's quite a lot of positional cost, but huge payoff. Super interesting. of how to tighten the screw. Pretty exciting watching somebody think for three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about the high octane action of a live game. <laughs> Could have really done with a call caster, but hey. Oh. Are we seeing a ball base? Take a GFI. Some people like to base the ball. But we are not 
not seeing the ball bears. Coming around is also good, isn't it? Especially like if he'd made the GFI to base there and then made this hit and then tagged there. That would have been pretty strong. Really strong actually, right? Because you'd be you'd be walling off with the roll there as the uh, it's like the hinge if you like. with Borak or something. I guess you could 1D with Bora. Try and free that warrior. Yeah, you just 1D with Borak at the end. Maybe he's not even at the end. 1D with Borak, then Blitz. Oh, cause, okay, so here's the play, right? The ball comes back because it's turn 12. And then um, Borak 1Ds, and then this warrior goes 1, 2, 3, 4 square hits him, chains him to there, which gets the beast up. Lovely. I oh, just roll a 4 plus. <laughs> you know, ro rolling a 4 plus is good. Hello, everybody! <laughs> Five year, year! <laughs> <laughs> oh, holy shit! He rolled a one! <laughs> Fuck off, Demi. Oh my god! <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> oh my god. If you can imagine that, but like top of your voice, that was Dimmy for like about three hours on Friday night. <laughs> I was surprised he could speak the next day to be honest. <laughs> I sure couldn't. <laughs> Blitz the stand firmer, yikes. Look at this stand firm. The stand firm has been on point. Antonis. Wait, did he did he choose both down there instead of push? <laughs> well, not the best play I've ever seen, but who can say if it's good or bad? Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That is a misclick, yep. Either that or he's been taken tips from purple chest. Way! <laughs> Chalice nerves, yep. Oh man. Oh man. The worst thing is, as well, it's a stun, so the beast is isolated again. <laughs> you think you can see it on the ball? <laughs> Whoa. And surfing this guy is amazing, isn't it? Just free surf. Oh. Pow. Free pow. Doesn't follow. I think you have to GFI here and do this hit, right? Because then if you don't power, then he can come in for a bit.
Oh my god, killed him. <laughs> Good god almighty! Okay, well he, that, he, he regen, but... Four. One, two, three, four, five. I don't think it's worth doing the GFI, to be honest. But, wow. I mean, phew, don't say it's over. Phew. But, uh... <laughs> It's pretty over. <laughs> Stunned, isolated, stuck on the roller, about to be surfed. It's, uh. Wow. <laughs> the foul appearance sound effect's great, isn't it? Holy shit. Don't hear it often. It wasn't actually that huge, right? It was just it because if he was still there, he couldn't have assisted or anything. Like it would still be this would have all still happened. You'd have just had a guy stood there. Like ultimately, he was in a he was in a shit spot, and because of the stand firm is why I wouldn't have blitzed right out. Just I just brought the ball back that turn. Like it sucks, obviously, turn 12, bring the ball deep into your own half. 1-0 down. With hardly any players. Like, it wasn't wasn't what I'd want to do. Get the ball back that turn, but I just felt like he couldn't keep hold of it if he didn't. And he hasn't kept hold of it. <laughs> It's pretty crazy, isn't it? I felt like Javita held all the cards at the start of the game and he did get the early cards. He's removed good players and, like, these aren't great dwarves that are left. But I guess finally, like, the seven mighty blowers told a bit, right? They've made four removals this half. <laughs> well, pocket aces only hold up about 70% of the time, don't they? Oh my god. That's not true, is it? Is it 84%? I can't remember. It's fireball. It was crap. <laughs> Filled all four, all three four pluses. What percent is, is aces versus a random hand? Um, 85. Yeah. I don't know why I thought seven. I said seven. My fault for streaming it, yeah. Nobody, nobody. Oh wow, he's just he's just cast Borak. <laughs> wow. So he fireballs, misses them all, hits with Borak, <laughs> Lona fails. Dies. <laughs> um, yep. <laughs> and the beast went stupid. <laughs> Seen better turns. <laughs> Ah, it was a four plus to be fair, yeah, yeah, because he couldn't he couldn't rescue him. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my god, another cast. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, don't say it's over. <laughs> don't, the misclick really didn't matter. Because it was versus stand firm, right? It was versus stand firm, so it's not, it's not as if you could have pushed him away. Like, if you could have pushed him away, it would have been real bad. But it was it was versus this stand firm guy, so 
it basically like, obviously wasn't good. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, you'd rather have the guy standing than not, but it, it wasn't super impactful. It was worse that it meant that he couldn't activate the beast the next turn and stuff. Um, but for the actual, t the next turn, he was already in a load of trouble after just not powering that guy. Maybe he should have re-rolled it, uh, but he's already out of re-rolls anyway, but like, he had re-rolls then, maybe he could have re-rolled that. Try and make, but even then he's next to the ball carrier. I just hated the ball carrier blitzing stand firm, to be honest. I think it was the whole course of action that turn, but it was already, it was already on the ropes. Like, he was already, he's just been mauled this half, hasn't he? He's been absolutely mauled to pieces. <laughs> it started with the uh, claw pummel going out, didn't it? And after that, he was a bit toothless. Like, he only had, like, some mighty blow on the Warriors. And, uh, the Claw Pom. Whereas, Antonis has got, like, loads of mighty blow. Dwarves. Dwar I mean, Dwarves are pretty good, right? Especially in a 33-game format like this. Where they're pretty much guaranteed to, like have a good team at the end of it because Nurgle or Chaos need claw palms right and if, if they get like an unlucky injury the team's done that's why I didn't want to use Chaos or anything like that Chaos or Chorfs or anything because you know, if one of your bull like if you've got a four skill bull and he dies you're just screwed whereas Dwarves are Dark Elves they've got so many good players you know after one one or two skills that they can basically absorb any injury along the way and still have like a decent team. Mm. Yeah, interchangeable players indeed. So while I do think Chaos Dwarves are the best, though they haven't won this, have they? The winners are now looking at Necromantic, Wood Elves and Dwarves. But I do think Chorps would be the best for this one. Just uh, a little bit risky. So I hope it works, in case nobody knows, because of course this is the uh, the Era BB League. You can uh, you can join the Discord and stuff somehow. <laughs> and um, and so they have like leagues of twelve and have eleven games in a season. And do that three times, and then have a cup. So they have like, and then they have tiering, which gives you more playoff spots to the higher tiers. Um, and then they have a cup. So you know, it's essentially twenty-two games of not so much meaning. Then the eleven crunch games to see if you make the playoffs, and then the cup. Hello, Spock Bearer, no problem, no problem. As long as everything's okay. Ah. I'll go back into the era of BB League. I, uh, I went to my own in case anybody wants to join. I shall go in the commentary box. Well, you missed you missed a, a pretty great match actually, pretty very interesting. Um, Antonis's team was pretty much outclassed by Chavites, and then there was a huge Kaz on the claw palm, and then after that everything went wrong. <laughs> everything went wrong, and the mast mighty blow of the dwarves took over. And somehow got away with very little guard. I think they only had like, what, five guard, I think? But all the mighty blow made minions of removals. The, uh, the fireball failed completely. Um, so yeah, it was, uh, it was a massacre in the end. Unbelievable. And it could have been so very difficult. Yeah, I don't know, the roller... The roller held the space in the middle very well. Like, if the roller wasn't there, then players were getting freed up and doing things right. So yeah, he, he held it. He held the whole center of the pitch by himself. 
pretty, I mean, it's a hell of a player. When, when a roller is on the pitch, it's an incredible player. You know, like, yeah, he's got Guardia. Like, it's an incredible player on the pitch. It's just that, you know, it's not for its TV, basically, right? And it's slot on the roster because half of the game is doing nothing. It's a strange player. Because, like, there's, there's players like Minotaurs. You don't even want on the pitch sometimes, right? Because they're unreliable and stuff. And, like, even if it was no... Even if it was zero... That we, on Fumble, we had a... A... Sorry, this is a terrible wrap-up for a championship match, but, you know... <laughs> we, had, we had a thing where you had, like, a draft. You drafted a team, and there was no TV, there was no inducements. And people still didn't draft the Minotaurs because they're just unreliable players, right? When the when the death roller is on the pitch, it's an incredible player. Like it's such a good player. It's just expensive, and you get limited uses out of it. It's, it's, it's the only bad thing. But when it is on the pitch, it is unbelievably good. And it, and it was great. It was great. It did hold all the Senate by itself. And uh... <laughs> oh, Chavita. It was it was a tough offense, right? It was a tough and it was a tough offense. Uh, things went wrong, and uh, but yeah, all credit to Antonis who played who played pretty well. And uh, yep, congrats to him, winning Era BB League, and um, commiserations to Chavita. And unfortunately, Spork wasn't able to get. Well, you know, I'm here now. <laughs> he's here now. Way. Yeah. And I would just really just wanted to say thanks, Jimmy, for uh, streaming, uh, even though we, we we really just completely uh, left you holding the baby there. Uh, uh, but it was, uh, I've got to watch it back because I, I, I've been offline. And uh, listen, it's really fun to have so many new people come to the league, right? Era BB League, it's, uh, it's not only for Irish people. I'm not Irish. Javita and Antonis, fierce Irish names. Right, um, it's for everybody who gets on with the culture of Irish nerds, and that's basically why it's been so much fun in recent months to see like new people arrive and people like yourself come and stream. Uh, you know, thanks. Glorious. Well, thank you, thank you for having me. And yeah, it was it was a bit like the it was a bit like the end of Blitz Pit when when Nick fell asleep and, I, and, and Rick left and I was left on my own. <laughs> Well, you're very dependable, you know. <laughs> uh, Chavite, it looks like, is here for commiserations. Hey, Chavite. He's muted. He's muted. Maybe he just... Oh, here he is. I want to start speaking without um, having uh, the go ahead, you know? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's basically like having family, right? <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> um, the final is dedicated to the play, uh, to the people from Uzbekistan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but bad luck, Chavite. I haven't seen the game. Yeah, no, look, the chat, I, I, so. still have made, I still have made the finals anyway because uh, the game against King Boo was stupid. And in this game, he played better and he got the win. So, you know. At least it wasn't like one of those Dysons that you're like, oh, for fuck's sake, I can do nothing. You know? Yeah, well, at least it was, disgusting it was a neurons, game, so, and, you know. It was a game, at least, until halfway through my offense when I just blundered and didn't, I, I didn't stick to one thing. And that was the, that was the, that was the reason I it just blundered. Because if I had focused on only one thing, like if I had focused on the eight turn stall, it would have been better. Or if I had focused fully on the two-turn uh, two touchdown, it also will have been better. But I did neither, and that was that. Yes, you'll just have to console yourself with being fierce, good-looking, and living in a place with much better weather. So, <laughs> and, and having won this twice already. So it's not like I'm going <laughs> Yeah, yes, that helps. All right, Jimmy, we shall let you wrap this up. Thank you for letting us hop in at the end. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for letting me cast it and, and join your wonderful league. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>